Hey Paola, my name is Marquise and I am the owner of Nomadic Marketing and in this video I'm actually going to show you guys three things that you can do today to increase the amount of clients that are coming in to your law firm. Now most likely you know you're just kind of sitting there asking yourself why would I even do this in the first place or, or better yet what's in it for me. Um, oftentimes in the world of the internet most local business owners you know they just they're concentrating too much on actually running their business in order to really take the time to find out how the internet can really benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that they have to working with someone is they just don't know who actually is an expert and who isn't, uh, who wants to actually help them and who's going to end up just kind of like taking their money and run. I found by giving people a free attack plan of actual things that they can do to really uh, impact their business. It's resulted in business owners just kind of raising their hands and saying, hey, Marquise, can you just do this for me? So if by the end of the video, you feel like the information that I've presented to you today is actually helpful and can help with getting uh, new clients into your doors, feel free to reach out, we can chat. Or you can actually take any of the information that I'm giving you today and use it on your own, and that's okay too. So. Now, let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your guys' time. So the three things that we're going to go over today are going to be content, uh, citations, and backlinks. So first is content. So think of content as any of the words, phrases, um, pictures, anything like this that shows up on your page. All this stuff would be considered content. So in order to be fully optimized in Google's eyes, you do need to have at least 1500 words of content. This is just kind of like the start. This is like a base level of where you should start uh, in order to get fully optimized. So what I did was actually threw your information into one of the tools that we utilize here. This is SEO Quake. So this is a free tool that anybody can use. You could just download it and uh, run it on any of your uh, uh, domains uh, as an extension. So I mostly use it just to see what the word score is for a website. So I can see here that you guys have a total of 7,500 words on your front page. This is amazing. Most companies that I work with, they tend to start anywhere from like four to 500 words. Um, every now and then, you know, we'll work with some companies, they'll have a thousand words. Um, and then some of the companies we work with, um, they actually have over 1500 words and we really just have to go in and make sure that it is optimized for the right keywords, you know? But you guys are in a wonderful spot. Uh, definitely for something like this, I would say don't change a thing. You guys have more words than some of your uh, competitors. So definitely continue doing the exact same. Well, don't do anything. Just leave it the exact same way it is. All right. Second thing that I want to talk about is going to be citations. So in order to really get a firm grasp of citations, what I did was a quick Google search for personal injury attorney Miami. Um, so usually when you do a search like this, there are a couple things that come up. First thing to come up is going to be this ad, these ads right here. So this is the Google ad section. Um, it can also be called Google search um, specifically. So these ads themselves are pay-per-click ads, which means that you only pay when someone actually clicks on one of these ads. These can end up two different ways. One, they can end up being very lucrative for your business, especially if they're done with the right person. Uh, or the right agency. Like for example, I've worked on Google Ads for probably around 10 years now. So I would say that I'm pretty adept at building ads that really bring in the right customers and uh, making sure that the ads themselves are optimized to run in the right spaces. Or it can be the second way, which ends up with you losing a ton of money and not really getting too much out of it. Especially when it comes to anybody within the industry that you guys are in, law or um, attorneys, it can end up being very costly because for anything dealing with legal, it tends to be the most costly for keywords uh, when it comes to running any kind of Google advertisements. It, it ranges from anywhere like $60, $70 to over $300, especially if you're not doing it correctly. So definitely something to be mindful of. The section that I would like to show you on this page is going to be this section right here. So this is the Google Map 
pack or the map section for short. So this is where you can find the uh, name, address, and phone number, aka NAPS, for a business. Uh, so I'll have business owners kind of approach me and say, hey, you know, Marquise, how can we show up in the map pack? How can we show up in this optimized section, you know, one of these top three spots? There are a bunch of different things that you can do uh, in order to help you, uh, some being optimizing your description, uh, some being optimizing your pictures that you have on your listing. And one of the bigger things that you can do is actually optimizing your citation. So think of citations as anywhere on the internet where your name, address, and phone number, those NAPs, show up exactly the same, um, especially in different things like directories. So if you remember back in the day, they used to have something like the yellow pages or the white pages. It would show up at your doorstep. Basically, they've taken those yellow pages and they've now put them online. So they have these online directories where you can put your name, address, and phone number. Um, and as long as it's exactly the same, basically it tells Google that all of these places have this information about this business. It must be a reputable business that we can start moving up the ladder in this map section. So one of the other tools that we utilize here is called whitespark.ca. Essentially, it's a local citation finder. So to show how many citations a particular business has across the internet. As you can see here, looks like you guys have about 69 citations across the internet. This is a great place to be. I've worked with companies that have had zero citations. Uh, and I've worked with companies that have around where, where you have. Um, the amount of citations fluctuates with the business, but uh, most of them I would say start in the 25, 30 range and then go up probably to around like your range, somewhere in the 60s. What I tend to recommend for any business that just kind of wants to beat everyone, you know, leave the competition in the dust, you're going to want to have anywhere between 200 and 300 citations. Most businesses don't take the time to really invest in building up the amount of citations that they have across the internet. So this is a great way to just kind of make yourself stand out in Google's eyes and then also increase the relevance in terms of that uh, Google Maps listing as well. The last thing I'm going to talk about is going to be backlinks. So think of backlinks as how a website has authority on the web. So simply put, if you were to take site A, for example, and site A points at site B, therefore site A is a backlink for site B, which gives it more authority on the web. Um, so you have to think of Google as kind of like a popularity contest. So the more sites that are pointing at you, the more popular and relevant you are in Google's eyes, which they will take the time to move you up the list in organic search. And that's how you get to that front page. So if you take a look at you guys here, throw it into one of the other tools that we utilize. This is Ahrefs. So I think this, uh, the cost of this probably ranges anywhere from 70 to $100 a month. So a very nominal uh, cost that anybody can purchase and anybody can use in order to find more information about their website. So you can see here that you guys have about 2,000, a little bit above 2,000 backlinks across 147 referencing domains. Basically, that means that there are 147 different websites sites in which these backlinks are coming from. So, I, I mean, that's pretty easy to uh, understand. So, uh, this is a wonderful place to be, once again. Having 2,000 backlinks, I've worked with companies that have no backlinks, and then we were able to get them into the thousands of backlinks over time. Having some is wonderful. When you compare yourselves to some of your competitors, like Levent Law here, they have about 10,000 backlinks across 626 referring domains. So basically they have more domains and more backlinks, but the biggest thing to look at is gonna be their domain rating score. So this says 45 here. Basically your domain rating score tells you how relevant the backlinks themselves are. So not just any backlinks work. They do need to be relevant to the type of business that you have. So it's a difference between having, um, I don't know, connecting to a website that says um, um, lawyerinfo.com and con connecting to, I don't know, pizzahut.com. You know, like one is actually 
connected to your industry, the other, you can get like 10% off on pizza. So one is actually relevant, one pretty much isn't. And it's just something to be mindful of, especially when look at you guys, you guys have a domain rating score of 31. So definitely something that you guys are gonna to wanna to look into as well, all right? So just to kind of recap, your front page, in order to be fully optimized for content, needs to have at least 1,500 words. Uh, as I said before, you guys blew this out the water, so don't change a thing. You're right in a good place for that. Second thing is citations. So you're going to want to have anywhere between 200 and 300 citations just to kind of beat your competition out by a landslide and not have them that close to you guys. Um, the third thing is backlinks. So you're going to need more relevant sites pointing at you guys just to show Google that you are an authority. And if you were to implement these strategies today, you can be number one across Google as well. So I bet you're wondering what now? Well, uh, you can either go and use the information that I provided you on your own, and I'm perfectly all right with that. Or if you want the most efficient route and you actually want to save yourself some time, you can give me a call at 970-829-1300. For two. Once again, I'm Marquise with Nomadic Marketing, and my best contact number is 970-829-1342. Uh, thank you. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good one.